Abel Ramos versus Lucas Santa Maria. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who don't know, this fight between Abel Ramos and uh, Santa Maria is scheduled for 10 rounds in the welterweight division to take place this weekend, this Saturday over in Vegas in the undercard of the Keith Thurman versus Mario Barrios fight to be shown live on Fox pay-per-view. But to my understanding, I remember reading somewhere, I can't remember where, but I remember reading that uh, Abel Ramos versus Lucas Santa Maria actually got replaced uh, will no longer be part of the pay-per-view card. Instead, the pay-per-view will include Jesus Ramos versus Vladimir Hernandez. Because if you guys remember, um, Abel Ramos was supposed to fight uh, Josecito Lopez, but Lopez got injured um, and Santa Maria is stepping in to replace him. So I'm not entirely sure if this fight will be part of the pay-per-view card. Uh, I hope it still is, because why not? It's a good fight. It should be a very entertaining fight. Um, Lucas Santa Maria, to those who don't know who he is, he's a 24-year-old fighter from California. 12-2, and two, one draw, seven wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Lost to Paul Kroll uh, and lost early on in his career against some guy named Daniel Vega Cora. Uh, he's been in there against the likes of Michael Fox and Devin Alexander. Defeated both of them. And now here he is fighting the uh, more experienced Abel Ramos, who is now 30 years old from Arizona. 27-4, and four, two draws, 21 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Coming off a very good win against Omar Figueroa. Prior to that, he lost by split decision to Jordanis Ugas. And he had a very good winning streak going on um, from 2018 to 2020, uh, winning fight after fight. Uh, after he, you know, Prior to that, he lost to Jamal James. And he had very good wins against Bryant Perella and um, Santa, Santana, Francisco Santana. So, you know, he's been in there against some good names. Abel Ramos lost most of those fights. Ivan Baranchik and uh, Regis Progre. Um, so, he, but he's been in there. He's, he, he knows how it's like to fight uh, champions. And does he have what it takes to be the younger Santa Maria? In my opinion, yeah. After watching some footage of Santa Maria, he actually might make this fight competitive. I think he has what it takes to make this fight competitive. I think Santa Maria will fight a, a, a smarter uh, fight. Him moving around, picking his shots. Uh, Abel Ramos will try to get in the inside, work the inside, and try to stay active and busy. Uh, Ramos, if he wants, you know, he's considered a top 15 guy by the WBC and WBA. He's number 11 by the WBC and number 4 by the WBA. So he's up there in the rankings. And if he wants to remain in those rankings, he has to win this fight. But it's definitely a big opportunity for Lucas Santa Maria. Honestly, I think Santa Maria will be competitive early on, win most rounds for in the first half. Um, because of him moving around, I think he will win most of those rounds. But as the fight goes on, I think Abel Ramos will get to him and um, work work him in the later rounds. And if Santa Maria can move around throughout the whole entire fight, he can actually pull off the upset. But I don't think so. I think I think Ramos will will work the body, tire him down, and I think Ramos will most likely win this fight, a close one, six rounds to four in favor of Ramos. But honestly, I won't be surprised if Lucas pulls it up, pulls it off. Uh, I think Lucas definitely has the skill set to pull it off. But you know, it's it's a matter of how well he prepared for this fight. I mean, he is a last minute replacement too, so. Um, should be interesting. Anyway, again, I'm picking Ramos to win six rounds to four. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.